My friends, I've been away for a few weeks. I'm back working in the real world and I've only just found the time to make this video to keep you all up to date with what's been going on. And firstly, I just wanna say a big thank you to all the subscribers and everyone who have shown their support and left so many nice comments. It really means so much. So thank you and thanks for sticking with me. Now, over the past year or so, we've all been in various forms of lockdown, all thanks to some bug that's been going around. And because of this, I haven't really had much else to do but learn how to trade. And only since February this year, I've been obsessively reading, researching, practicing, and I even created this YouTube channel. My only wish is that I had started all this a year and a half ago at the beginning of the pandemic, because now I'm back at work. And so finding the time to trade has been almost impossible. But there are ways that you can keep trading whilst holding down a regular job. And that's what we're gonna have a look at today. Every one of us has a different lifestyle. Some work nine to five, some of us are self-employed, or maybe you're a stay-at-home mum or dad. But whatever your commitments are, it really is tough to dedicate the time that is needed to trade the stock market, unless you have specifically made the brave decision to become a full-time trader. Now, if you couldn't do your normal job during the pandemic, and you decided to use your time at home by taking up trading, as I did, then we kind of became full-time traders by default, as we didn't really have any other work commitments, and most of us were at home all day not really doing much. So we had plenty of time to dedicate to trading. But now as the world starts to open up again and we all start to slowly go back to work and start to regain the social life, it's inevitably gonna be much more difficult to continue trading in the way that we were during the lockdown, which really sucks because I was really just getting into the swing of it all. But I can't complain. And don't get me wrong, I am pleased that life is getting back to normal. But we just need to figure out exactly how we can fit it all in. Now, of course, like all the videos on this channel, I'm just talking about day trading and scalping, meaning taking advantage of big moves in the price at the market open and making really quick trades. I don't really do anything else, so these videos don't really apply to other types of trading. Now I work as a self-employed freelancer in the film and television industry, which thankfully has now finally started to really get going again. But my usual trading routine is to trade the open of the FTSE 100 at 8 a.m. and then I either trade stocks or the Dow Jones at the US open at 2.30 p.m. But now I'm back at work, I have to be on set at 7 a.m. and I usually work right through to around 6 p.m. with a quick break for lunch somewhere in the middle of the day. And since starting this new show that I'm on, which will go on till around September, I haven't really had much of an opportunity to trade, which is a real shame. And I've really gotten out of the loop of how the market is performing. And I feel really out of touch of all the news stories like the current situation with the inflation concerns and interest rates and the general US economy as a whole. Now there have been days over the past three or four weeks that I have actually managed to squeeze in a sneaky trade at work on my phone. But to be completely honest, I didn't really do that well. I felt really rushed and stressed about it and I didn't have my mind completely focused on what I was doing. And so I therefore ended up losing most of the trades and there were even a few trades that I just had to close in order to get back to work. So it was quickly becoming very apparent that this is not a sensible or responsible way to trade at all. Now on my days off when I traded from home, I did much better. I could take my time, I could look at support and resistance levels, I could read news articles, and I could look at earning reports. You know, I just had the time to think about what I was doing and I could be patient and not rush or force anything, which really is how it should be done. And on those days, I made much more successful trades. Now your job might be different. You might be able to sneak off for 10 or 15 minutes and trade on your phone. Or maybe you sit at a computer where you can keep an eye on your trading window, which is all well and good. But just remember, you're always gonna have that stress at the back of your mind of either being caught or being called over or God forbid being given something to do. And when we trade, we really, really need no other distractions whatsoever. You need to be completely focused and relaxed. Otherwise you're gonna be making rash decisions, inevitably leading to losing lots of your money. So just keep that in mind if you're trading at work. Really think about whether you can completely focus on it. And if you can't, then really you shouldn't be trading at all. And if you think that's a bit extreme or a bit overcautious, well, it's your money at the end of the day. But if you're like, yeah, it's cool. I don't really care about my job. I got loads of time to piss about on the internet. Then go for it. 
but don't say I didn't warn you. And if you do decide to trade at work, I would suggest not to trade stocks. And the reason is this. We trade stocks based on news, either some sort of headline or positive or negative earning report. And all this takes a good amount of time to read and analyze and to make a decision of what you're gonna do. Now, if you're trading at work and you don't have half an hour or so to do this research, then you're probably better off forgetting about stocks and instead think about trading the day-to-day -day patterns that play out in the futures market, such as the FTSE 100 and the Dow Jones. I learned a strategy for both these indices, which usually plays out within one to 10 minutes. So I can literally open up my broker a minute before the open, and I can sometimes be done in literally seconds, and usually no more than 10 minutes, depending on the day. Now this is a strategy based on price behaviors that occur every single day. And so you don't need to do any research. You just react to what you see in the moment, which is the quickest and easiest way to trade if you're at work and you've not got much time. And if you're interested in learning the patterns that play out with the FTSE and the Dow, like I did, then check out Eduardo Sambora for an in-depth course on the subject. You can, of course, look for yourself at how the markets move at the market open and figure the recurring patterns out for yourself. And in my next video, I'll be going over some live trades that I've done recently and show you how I trade the FTSE and the Dow. So keep an eye out for that. Now, if you put a trade on at work, you must without fail initiate a stop loss order so that if you have to go back to work for whatever reason, or you get called into a meeting or something, then you've covered your ass if the trade goes against you. Because you know, if you suddenly get called back to work and you hadn't put a stop loss order in, the trade could go against you and you could easily wipe your whole account. So put the stop loss in right away. And you know, for the same reason, it's always a good idea to initiate a take profit order as well, so that you can bank some of that profit if you're away from your desk or in a meeting. Now, if you really can't trade the open of the FTSE at 8 a.m. or the US open at 2.30 p.m., UK time that is, of course, then you do have one final option, and that is to trade the US close between 8 and 8.30 p.m. Personally, though, I find it really difficult to trade the US close because it's much harder to read than the open. So I usually just stick to the other times in the day. But if you're at work all day and your only option is to trade in the evening when you get home, then you can give it a try. You often get some really huge rallies and sell-offs at the end of the day. And so if you time it right, you can often ride these out and make a really nice tidy profit. But do be careful because the closer you get to the closing bell at 9 p.m., the more and more volatile it gets. So of course, you know what I'm gonna say, and this goes for any piece of advice that I give you, you must only try this out in a demo account until you have proved to yourself that it works for you and you are comfortable in what you're doing. Now, let me tell you something. I am still only working in a demo account. I started at the beginning of February 2021 and have paper traded ever since for over 20 weeks now. And I still don't feel confident enough in myself to start using real money, especially now my routine has changed due to work commitments. And there's no shame in that. You know, don't feel rushed into using real money and don't feel like you're missing out by using a practice account. It takes months and months to really get to grips with trading. So keep practicing until you feel really confident in yourself with how the markets move and how you deal with your own reactions and emotions. There is no rush. The market will always be there. Now let's have a quick recap. Holding down a job and trying to trade are very difficult to do in harmony and really should be avoided. You need to be really focused when trading. So if you do do it at work, really make sure you've got no other distractions or commitments and do place a stop loss order in to protect yourself in case you get distracted. And avoid trading stocks at work as they take time to analyze. So your best bet is trading futures and the patterns that play out day to day at the market open. Remember, you can trade three times a day by trading the FTSE open at 8 a.m. and the Dow open at 2.30 p.m. and the Dow close at around 8 to 8.30 p.m. So you can try and tailor this to fit around your work schedule. And as always, try it with a demo account only until you're confident enough in yourself. And if you can only trade for one day out of the week, then that's absolutely fine. But like I said earlier, I'll go through some live trades of the FTSE and the Dow in the next video to show you how it all works for me. And best of luck with whatever you end up doing. Just be careful, be patient, and don't let your boss catch you. All right, I'll see you next time.